Our work will be guided by our values, the belief in low taxes, small government, a thriving private sector that creates jobs for Canadians, protecting our communities from criminals and drug pushers, and believing that Canada is the best country to live in on the, on the earth. Uh, as we've seen in the United States, this will be an attack on middle class living standards in this country as working people will earn less, they'll have fewer rights in the workplace, less democratic input into the place where they spend most of their lives, which is the workplace. Our government recognizes that too much red tape restricts innovation, productivity, and competitiveness. In the debate, uh, in the throne speech, uh, and in the action plan, there's hardly any investment in building affordable housing. Uh, and uh, the fact that uh, the, the, the housing agreement is ending in 2014, meaning that there will be hundreds of thousands of people that have housing now will lose their affordable housing because of the end of this housing agreement. So my question really is, uh, given this kind of uh, crisis that is facing Canada, this kind of homelessness, uh, what should Canada's response be? Let me tell you another story about my father. My father owned a pizza store, and, for, and he worked 16 to 18 hours a day, Mr. Speaker. I can tell you what my father would not have done if he saw somebody stealing from his cash register. He would not have said, you're suspended, but make sure you come back every two weeks and collect the paycheck. I tell you what he would have said. He would have said, you're fired, leave, and he would have called the police. That's the standard my father expected. That's the standard we expect on this side of the House, and that's the standard that Canadians expect. It's only the Liberals who expect a different standard. To conclude that story, Mr. Speaker, we also had a driver, Eugene. He was a Philippine immigrant, and he used to deliver pizzas. Part of his agreement was that he would, he would provide receipts for gas, Mr. Speaker. Now, could Eugene, could he have provided extra receipts? He could have, but he did it, Mr. Speaker. He was honourable. That's the standard that we should expect from our senators. If we can expect it from a guy who delivers pizza, we certainly should be able to expect yeah, it from senators.